In part one, we expanded the ACF2 parser to extract the auth parameter, and we saved the search. In fact, we we saved it in the quick searches, and this is called uh, this particular search. And we have the data here, and you can go back in time, you know, whatever time you actually want to, right? Now, let's build a Pulse dashboard with it. Now, what we need to do, if you go to the Pulse dashboard, and let's say that we want to uh, create a new dashboard. So we create a dashboard. It's going to be custom. We are not importing. We are not using any template. We're going to call it my first ACF2 dashboard. And you put a description, a meaningful description, and all that, and you click Next. And now you need to put uh, what widgets, what components, what windows you're going to put in that. In that, So we're going to create a, a new widget. We're going to call this one uh, Auth. You put again a description. And here, you need to specify what, uh, whether this comes this is not going to come from APIs or dynamic search. It's going to come from an AQL search. But how do I put an AQL search for that? All we have here is the actual search itself, uh, but it's in this format that we did adding filters. Well, all we need to do is go here, edit search. And because we saved that search, we have it here. And this is called ACF2. And we have the beautiful thing to click here show AQL and we have that AQL statement you probably do not need all these columns I'm going to leave them in here just uh, to make the video shorter uh, so I have to, I have copied that into the clipboard now I all I need to do when I go here to pulse is uh, when I'm going to be doing the AQL search I'm going to paste this in here boom and that's it and I'm going to make this refresh every uh, 24 hours every day or whatever it is and I don't want to limit this to 1000 I'm going to make it 3000 again and uh, you need to try the query to see that it uh, that it can uh, bring uh, data so maybe it took too long for me to actually do this so I'm going to modify the AQL instead of the last 30 minutes I'm going to put uh, 90 minutes and rerun the query and now we have data. So, right? now let's uh, the once you have this, which is a difficult part. Not that, not really. If you have that uh, button that sh creates the AQL for you, what you need to do is where, how do you want to show this data? And you have all the nice primitives in here. I'm going to call this uh, out view. And what primitive do you want to use for the chart? Do you want to make it a... We don't have geographic data in here. so uh, it's Everything was so sent from the same IP, so we cannot do a, a, a geographic data. We can do uh, time series, uh, big numbers on the screen, uh, bar chart. Let's, let's actually try a bar chart, right? And in here, Notice that you can uh, select a field. We're going to put event name and the values. Let's put let's put username. Right? Yeah, we're getting some meaningful data right there. And then you can you know put titles on the axis and this drill down. I, I'm not uh, drill down. I'm not going to be talking too much. I did a lot of videos on how you create Pulse Dashboard, but this allows you to go from this graph, uh, click on, for example, on this bar and go into another, uh, either Pulse Dashboard, make API calls, all sort of very cool things. But I'm not going to uh, mess with that right now. So if I click now Save and then do Create, I should have a dashboard with only one widget. Again, let's keep the, the, the video short. Uh, with all those uh, all those parameters, that I this is how easy it is to create a report in Pulse. We again we expanded the, the parser, and we are doing the Pulse dashboard. Again, the procedure will be the same for all the other things that you want to add. 
and some of the cool things that pull Pulse allows you to do is that, for example, I can share this with somebody else and you create a limited account that, so he can only uh, do this in Curator, uh, actually clicking in here and you can uh, get a link and you can send this via email, you can copy it here, put it in an email, send it and when the people goes there and he authenticates with that limited access, he will get this dashboard. Of course, it's going to be more complete than this one is. Can try to keep the video very short. You also have the capability of creating, and that is explained on the on the actual videos. You can put in the actual AQL search some curly braces and put parameters that you can put uh, in there. Uh, let me show you one that already has them. This is a more elaborated uh, uh, Pulse dashboard with a graph and time series and, and, and different uh, primitives in here. Uh, but here is what I wanted to show. Uh, if you don't see it, by the way, if you click on this button, this thing goes in and out. And, and this has a timestamp. What do you want to search for uh, last uh, six hours or two hours or whatever? You, you click here, update, and then the graph uh, uh, gets updated with that time. But here you can put like a username or the, the non cancel the reason for auth in, in the example that we are doing and, and 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 that parameter will be passed on to the AQL search and the results will be specific for that. One final thought or idea here is that Curator has a whole bunch of reports and these are the traditional uh, reports on PDF format. They are not as nice as to what we have seen here but there might be some data that you may already want. So for example, on compliance, let's say that you are interested on, I don't know, ISO, this, whatever is the, 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 the actual report that you are interested in, right? And let's say that you want to modernize or give it a better look at this particular NIST uh, it can be an example. So you go to the wizard. You're not going to change anything in here. All you want to know is the know the name of the search. When you click here on define, you're going to get the name of the actual search. I saw, you know, this one. Good. That's all we need. So let's go back into the uh, log activity tab and edit a search that starts with I saw. And here it is. One of these, I don't, I don't remember exactly which is the one that, that but, but when you get that search and you click show AQL, boom, you have what you need. You don't need to learn AQL. You have what you need to copy into a clipboard and, clear, and create your sexy looking Pulse uh, version of that particular compliance report.